Hi folks, this is Mike from Ham Radio Science. Uh, today we're going to take a quick look at the uh, FEDRI SDR Net SDR Radio. Uh, you can see that it's a very small package and um, you can buy it in a couple different ways. One is with the case which runs about $250. Um, without the case about $199 but I highly recommend you get the case because it's a really nice looking case and adds a lot to the radio. Now, just a couple of quick specs on the um, Ephedri. The Ephedri is a 12-bit radio, and it covers 100 kilohertz to 30 megahertz continuously. So that gives you a pretty good range for most of your HF or amateur radio listening. One of the neat things about it, and one of the things I really liked, is that this can be connected a couple different ways to your SDR software. One way is simply through the USB port and the USB port is pretty much plug and play which is kinda nice. There wasn't any drivers to install you just plug it in and away it goes. Now where it really gets cool is that you can connect it using the Ethernet interface as an IP radio and in that case your sample rate goes up and you can get a 1225 kilohertz uh, bandwidth display on your SDR software. So let's uh, take a little closer look at the radio. Okay, we're taking a look at the back side of the radio and you can see there's not a lot to see. There's basically just a SMA antenna jack. Okay, now we're taking a look at the front panel of the Ephedrin SDR net radio. And you can see there's a little more going on here. We have our indicator lights here that determine the status of the device and its operational mode. Uh, we have also our USB uh, connector interface on the front panel and an external power interface and then our Ethernet connection if you're going to use this over IP. Uh, there's a couple ways you can connect this. You can connect it directly to your computer. Uh, interface card if you wish or you can connect it through a router it depends on however you just want to do that the power options are kind of interesting on the radio the um, you do have the external power jack if you want to use it but you can also power the device directly from a external USB um, power supply or you can power it directly from your front panel uh, connection or back panel connection whatever on your um, computer. So that's a quick look at the front. Let's go and take a look at the Ephedri in actual use. Okay, you can see we have the Ephedri powered up and ready to go here and um, our little indicator lights here are telling us it's ready, it's ready to do something. And uh, right now we're powering this through a USB connection and uh, the USB a USB power supply um, since we're not going to be connecting this directly via USB to the computer and here's our internet cable which is connected to our router our in-house router so that we can transfer the data directly to the uh, computer so let's see how it goes. Let's fire up a couple of SDR software programs and see how the little iFedry works. One evening I, I hook it up outside in the driveway and spread the radios out. This uh, is our friend who uh, piano uh, by avocation, uh, but uh, quite good. And he has a... Oil and 
coal being used across the nation. What are the alternatives? That's the focus of this panel discussion here on China. Please. Hay una auténtica oportunidad de poner fin mediante el diálogo al conflicto armado que vive este país. consumption in China has been increasing um, for the past over a decade. de este día vamos a escuchar el siguiente trabajo que ha realizado eh. Zulu Zulu Tom, you still there? It's 